What's going on, everyone? So it looks like the Los Angeles Lakers are just waiting for Christian Wood to make a decision, right? That's been the big question is like, what is going to happen? What are we going to do? Like, we need another center. It's very obvious. Uh, we still have two open roster spots. What are the Lakers' plans, right? Christian Wood has been rumored. He's been talked about. But there have been reports that, like, some of the Laker players are not really keen on Christian Wood. Uh, probably, like, LeBron James or Anthony Davis, just because I think they're the ones whose voice stretched the loudest, especially in the front office. Um, but it looks like that the Lakers believe that they can make it work. Uh, so, got the report. Um, that the big question would be whether the Lakers' structure, headlined by uh, Coach Darvin Ham and LeBron James, uh, could keep Wood focused on winning while eliminating some of his bad habits and overcoming some deficiencies. While he's already played for seven teams, uh, there's at least some internal optimism that the Lakers could make it work as stop number eight. So basically the Lakers are looking at it as like eight times the charm. According to Dan Woke, that the Lakers believe that they can get him with their structure, with their just culture, can kind of get Christian Wood to buy it. Now, this is something that I have reiterated myself on countless occasions here uh, on, between this and the other Laker channel, that I think the Lakers can make it work because of the structure that they have. They have a guy in LeBron James who's been the ultimate just getting guys to figure it out and make it work, right? Um, he also is a guy that is more upbeat, right? He's not a, a Kobe-type player where, you know, Christian Wood is going to have LeBron in his face screaming at him, calling him a bum and all this stuff constantly, right? Um, you know, LeBron's kind of more happy-go-lucky. You hear it all the time. Like, LeBron's just like a big kid, like... You know, he just loves to play jokes and keep things lighthearted and stuff. But winning also cures everything, right? You got a head coach in Darvin Ham who is a player coach. He is really good at getting people to buy in, right? He even got LeBron or uh, uh, Russell Westbrook to buy in and and believe and try his best to come off the bench and be a, be a guy that can play on the defensive end and was really good on the defensive end when people said it would never happen. Like, Darvin Ham really is a guy that understands. He gets it. He, he was a player. He worked his way through the ranks to end up becoming a head coach. And he just, he's almost like a politician out there when he speaks, right? Like, you just, like, like he just is really good at just getting his point across, kind of making you believe in what he's preaching, and uh, just really good at just getting people to lock in and believe. And I think that that's where it'll be good for Christian Wood. Also, you look at the Lakers should be one of the better teams in the league. Again, winning solves and cures everything, which I think will help Christian Wood because he clearly wants to win. That's something he's cared about. And it's not like he's been on very good teams, right? He's kind of jumped around from bottom feeder to bottom feeder to like, okay, on Houston, things are going to go, oh, no, now it's Houston's a disaster. James Harden's gone, all this, that, right? It's like, okay. And then goes to Dallas thinking like, okay, like, here we go. A team that was Western Conference Finals, like, let's do this, right? Like, all right, you know, and he was arguably their second best player and couldn't see the floor. And the Dallas Mavericks became terrible and they were just, it didn't make the play in. And it just, he hasn't been in a winning situation, a winning environment. And I've heard people throw out the, the thing, well, Christian Wood doesn't play defense. That's why he didn't play. Nobody on Dallas played defense. But Christian Wood was still their second best player. The, their best defensive player was Dorian Finney-Smith, and they got rid of him to go get Kyrie, and they were one of the worst defensive teams in the league. right? Like they, and they weren't a great defensive team prior to that. So it's not because of the defense, and this guy was a 17-7 and guy, right? So I do believe that he, he needs that structure. He has this stigma around him. He has this just the stain that he has to get out. He has to wash it out. And the only way he's going to be able to do that is to basically come in and be a locker room guy, be a, a team player, 
buy in to whatever is being sold and just play his role, whether it's starting, whether it's coming off the bench, whatever. He needs, like, this could very well be his last chance. Even if he doesn't go to the Lakers, wherever he goes, it's probably his last chance. But I genuinely believe he needs to go to the Lakers. I've said this before, and I fully stick by it. Christian Wood needs the Lakers more than the Lakers need Christian Wood. Would the Lakers really benefit from having Christian Wood? Absolutely. But the Lakers are still probably going to be very good regardless and could still win an NBA championship with or without Christian Wood. Christian Wood, I think, helps in that regard, but the Lakers don't necessarily need him, right? I mean, he's not even a real center, so it's like the Lakers would still need some size. He's more of a four than he is a five. He could play the five in spots, but the Lakers would need a four or a a real five. So again, it's not something that the Lakers are desperate for. But Christian Wood needs to change the perspective on him. He needs to change that what he's his perceived image is and going to a place like the Lakers that is probably going to be very good, should win a lot of games. And if he plays well and buys in, he's going to have the Lakers spotlight and the lights are brighter there than anywhere else. And he can start reshaping his brand and his image to where if it works out with the Lakers, maybe the Lakers sign him long term. If it doesn't, or if let's say they can't and he gets priced out, well then good for him. You know, maybe he goes to a team where he can get his bag, right? Even if, even if say, because there are some teams that still have like their taxpayer mid-levels and stuff. I still don't think that he should go to those teams. Unless it's like the Warriors or something. I don't even know if they still have their tax pyramid level. But one, I don't think the Warriors would take him. But I think that's another place like his culture, the environment. Team like Miami, right? I think Miami might be the second best place for him. Because I think a lot of the same things. He has the culture, the structure, if he plays well. You know, I just don't think the spotlight is as bright as it is with the Lakers. Um, But... That's another place where I do think he can kind of reshape his brand. So it's I don't think it's necessarily just the Lakers, but I think the best destination would be the Lakers for him to if he really wants to expedite that. You know, like if I was his, and I know some people are going to look at it as like, you're a Laker channel, of course you feel that way. But no, again, wh- whose lights are brighter that is going to be very good, that could use Christian Wood, and has, ha- has a track record of getting guys... Paid and as well as their images fixed. The Lakers do. There are no other ones other than Miami. But again, they don't have the spotlight. So if Christian Wood goes to the Lakers and he can show like, hey, I'm that guy. If I was his agent, I'd be like, you need to go to Lakers. Even if he could go and get a taxpayer level. You don't, the $3 million that you're going to lose is not as is more valuable than you potentially being out of the league if you don't work out, right? Or you hop into, eventually you're going to go team to team and people are just going to get sick of it. And like, I've seen people say, well, no, he's too talented. Teams will take a flyer on him on event minimum. No, they won't. Not if he's a locker room issue. We've seen very talented players out of the league very quickly because of the locker room issues. We have seen star players Get out of the league sooner than many believe. Carmelo Anthony, he had he started building that so teams wouldn't even touch him, and he was still really good. He came back to Portland and was great, right? Um, Allen Iverson is another great example. Allen Iverson probably had another three to five years of just really good basketball, but he thought he was still a superstar. He thought he was still great. And Christian Wood is nowhere near those players. So you think if teams won't touch those guys, you think teams are going to, what, touch Christian Wood? Of course not. We've seen guys that are very good at the game of basketball not be able to land a job, not because they're not talented, but because they're locker room issues. And they become big problems. So I do think that Christian Wood runs the risk of this potentially being his last year of real opportunity in the NBA. And if he ends up dropping the ball, he could be the odd man out when it's all said and done. So you 
he needs to think long term, right? Do you, do you care about right now and just getting that extra couple million? Sure, right? Even if somebody's willing to offer you 10 million, I think he should deny it to go to the Lakers. Like if somebody says right now, we'll give you one year, $10 million. I, if I was Christian, would I turn it down? Because if you go to the Lakers and you take a vet minimum, you're going to get more than $10 million over the long haul. But if you go to a team like, you know, the Spurs and it doesn't work out and Pop is like, yeah, like this is not something, then you're, you're screwed. You know, or if you fall out of the rotation or whatever, you're on a bad team, so now you're frustrated. But if you go to the Lakers, it'll be easier to buy in because you'll be winning. You're going to get an opportunity. You're going to be a part of that. So Lakers when is always good for the NBA when the Lakers are winning. You're going to have LeBron James and Anthony Davis that you're going to slot right into. So you're going to have two stars that are going to attract most of the attention. You know, you've got Austin Reeves and D'Lo. You're just kind of another guy out there. But if you're, you know, a 15-5 and five guy or a 17-7 and seven guy, you're going to get the recognition. You're going to be a big piece. You'll win a championship with the Lakers. Now you can add champion to that. And we've seen what it does. You also get to be closer to home, right? There's just so many benefits for him to go to the Lakers. It makes sense why there's all the reports of like, hey, if he can't get more than a vet minimum, he's going to the Lakers. But I think even if he can get more than a vet minimum, he's not going to get a 15, 20 million a year contract from somebody. There's not going to be a team that's going to sign him, you know, four years, 40 million or something like that. It's not going to happen. So you're going to what? You're going to go to a, like, I don't know, Detroit or something like that and sign a, a, a vet minute or a taxpayer mid-level contract and, and do what? Be on a bad team? Frustrated? And then if you don't get minutes or something or your minutes are cut or whatever, you're on a bad team, like now that perception becomes a thing when you, the same thing just happened on Dallas, right? At least if he goes to the Lakers and he's only playing like 15 minutes a game or something like that, at least there's the argument of like, well, yeah, of course, the Lakers are stacked. They are deep. Anthony Davis playing the four. They got other guys at the five, right? Anthony Davis closing games at the five because the Lakers are trying to win games. Like, you can, the media will spin it and argue and, you know, twist it to make it seem like, oh, Christian Wood is not the bad guy, right? Like, but if you go to a place like Detroit, you don't think that that spotlight on you is going to be bright because of all the negativity that comes with you. And all of a sudden you're out of the rotation or your, your minutes are cut or whatever, and you're on a bad team. Like, there's just so many things that could go wrong if he goes to any, another team outside of, like I said, like Miami or the Lakers. But if he goes to those teams and he plays the part, even if he doesn't play a ton, if he just you don't hear anything about him, there's teams that'll take a shot at him. Be like he was able to work for the Lakers. You know, Lakers only gave him like 15 minutes a game or whatever, but he was still a 10 and 5 guy, right? Like we could use that. So anyway, as always, this is a discussion. So I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. How do you feel? What do you think? Are you okay with the Lakers waiting around for Christian Wood? Do you think that they shouldn't? Love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments.